So we're back online for another um, video for the YouTube.com. We got Frazy Thundeezy, which is Varn and Derek sporting Pikachu and Lucas versus um, Nate and Mario for Raiden. I wish that was a Metal Gear Solid reference. It's actually about a little kid named Raiden. He goes Sonic in the uh, in doubles because he doesn't want to. You don't want really really want Pikmin flying everywhere. Yeah. He doesn't. My phone's over there. I totally left on that chair. Could you get it for me? Thanks, Kyle. You real. And we got game one starting on Smashville. I do see Lucas and uh, Pikachu excelling in these matchups just because they're really small, hard to hit. And um, in teams, it's, it's, it's good to be able to get footstool setups for your teammate and be able to get conversions for your teammate, and both of these characters can do that really well. Lucas has his own footstool setups and can probably footstool off of Pikachu up air and forward air. And um, Pikachu could probably do the same for Lucas. But blue team seem, does seem to have all the stage control right now. Wonderful fourth match from Nate, but does not take the stock off of Varn. Varn making it back. And the tables have turned. Red team with the stage control. Varn losing the first stop. It is still relatively even because both Nate and Mario are at high percent. Ouch. Unsafe forward smash from Mario. Unsafe up smash from Mario. Gets met by a forward smash from Varn. And spikes his own teammate. Good stuff, Varn. Nice save from Nate. Keeping Mario out of the down throw combos, but gets spiked by Varn. It seems to be a reoccurring thing that he really likes spiking. Y'all should probably stay off of his left side. It's all his. I'd like to see more um, PK fires from Varn. And a little more spin dashes from Sonic. He's not, he's not, um, Mario's not utilizing spin dash as much as he could be. It has an intangible startup point to get around, um, a lot of troublesome hitboxes like Pikachu's forward air and up smash. And any any aerial thrown out by Lucas because all of Lucas' aerials are really solid. Red team off stage. Nate trying to pressure with the fireballs. And the up smash on Derek takes out that stock. Yeah, I'd like to see a little more PK fires from Varn. That would, that would um, probably do this team a lot more justice. They'd be of a zone. Um, Sonic can break zoning, but Mario can't do it nearly as well. He doesn't have Cape, but uh, Cape's not a reliable option when there's three other people on the stage. Um, and that is a back throw. Varn does DI it and live, but gets sniped by Nate's back air. Nate goes for the down air, trying to get some extra percent on Varn, only at 18%. Does not get sent flying too far from that forward smash, lives it. So Smash has this awesome thing for anyone who's new and watching Smash. Smash has this uh, cool thing called stale move negating. We just call it staling for short. Where if you use the same move too many times, what it does is it reduces the knockback. <sighs> Can't reduce the knockback on that up smash too much. As I was saying, uh, it reduces the knockback on it a significant amount. Uh, you have 10 moves in your queue, you have 10 or 9. And um, the reason why those forward smashes from Nate didn't kill the first time is because he used three in a row putting three in his queue, all fresh, not very far apart. No character switches. For Raiden and Freezy, Thundeezy, running it back to Smashville for game two. And this is a loser's match, so the loser is out of the tournament. I really would like to see a little bit more zoning from the red team. It would, um, it would make Mario's pressure, close range pressure, a lot harder to get. 
because Mario does struggle getting in against a large amount of the cast, especially any cast with any member of the cast with a disjoint or a projectile. Sonic, not so much, but it's it's better to render one part of the team less useful than just allow the entire team to mow you down. Good team save. Throws a PK fire to keep uh, Nate from going off stage to edge guard his teammate Varn. His teammate Derek, I'm sorry. Two forwards matches in a row from the Pikachu, neither one of them sealing a stock. Wow, the Hail Mary forward smash from Nate. Taking his teammate's stock and the stock off of Varn. And getting spiked once again. This is this is the story of Varn's kills. He's on this left side. If you come near him, he's gonna get you off stage and get the back air. Hmm? Yeah. Good up tilt from Dirk. From Dirk. Oh no, you do not want to be on this platform with Mario. Dirk trying to make sure his team keeps stage control and blows that Sonic stock away. Mario loses one more. This is a this is heavily in the red team's favor right now. And Pikachu is apparently stock tanking right now. Little little rat knows how to live for a long time. Wonderful power, power shield. And good spot dodge. Gets away from three smash attacks in a row. Derek is doing his very best to stay alive right now. Four smash attacks. None of these attempts have taken a stock off of him yet. But he does need to watch out to not take a stock off of his own teammate. Gets the tech. And everyone's living except Nate. Oh yeah, help your own teammate team double. And that that rat's finally flying off the screen. Dirk losing his first stop. Varn attempting to uh, up tilt, try to catch a uh, Sonic's jump. And a forward smash from Nate. This is a 2v1 situation. Red team does seem to have this handle. Except for comboing your teammate. Come on, Vaughn. I'd like to see one of them zone. At this point, you do have a little bit of a lead. So there's there's no use to rush in at this point. Mario can't get anything off of uh, taping your projectiles if there's two of you. So I'd like to see one of them. There it goes. Varn is throwing these uh, PK freezes, trying to force Nate to do something. But he does end up pushing Dirk off stage. Good Zairs. Nate is running this 2v1. He's he's not gimping a Lucas anytime soon, but he is making this 2v1 look pretty credible. Like he could do this. Can he get an up, an up smash? Kills his teammate, but he makes sure to get that stock off Nate. We got a 1-1. One, one. I still don't see any character switches happening. Maybe Nate switching to Roy? Roy, Roy probably isn't the best in a double situation. He's the closest ranged sword character we have in this game. Um, he's the opposite of Marth for anyone who doesn't know. Um, Roy gets all of his sweet spots at the hilt of his blade. So you have to be as close as possible to get the most damage off of uh, Roy's sweet spots, off of his sword. So it's almost like you're trying to play a close range game instead of a long range game. I believe they're debating counter picks on stage. They're probably debating a ban. Red team could clean up on um, their conversions, making sure that uh, whenever Nate gets a down air, he could and, and he could. I guess get the auto cancel window better so that he could run forward to get the uh, to get the down to get the the grab to down throw because he, he missed a few, and the Sonic could probably use a little bit more spin dash to get in significantly better. Um, red team, I'm gonna say the same thing I was saying before. They seem to be playing really great, except not using projectiles to the best of their ability. 
But these Nair's coming out from Vaughn. Red team already off stage. Blue team asserting stage control here on Town and City for game three. This is losers round three, and wow, what a wonderful forward smash from Dirk. He saw the setup and he took it. Mario trying to juggle and gets down smash for it by Dirk. Hi, Aaron. Wonderful fair from Dirk. Down air from Varm. Doesn't get anything off of it. But he does keep himself safe. Relatively even game. Ooh, that forward smash. The up air the up throw takes it. And he does get a little bit of a little bit of percent back, but he loses it to that Sonic Spring anyway. And he misses the up smash. And the down smash. Both of these conversions that they've tried to get so far have win. Red team with all the stage control. Mark more words, they'll get it back. They had it for a second. Stocks are going flying. Okay, so we got um, five to four. Five for the red team, four for the... I'm going to go ahead and keep my mouth shut. Four and four, even game once again. Barn was sandwiched in the middle, and he kept his composure, got out. Got a nair to fair, got a nair to up air string on Nate for it. Nate is really good at using the cape to uh, turn himself around to get um, back airs on someone who's trying to recover. I would like to see him get rid of the Pikachu, though, because Pikachu recovers just as well as Ness does. I mean, as Lucas does. But Lucas has a tether, so he has a little bit more recoverability. And a random forward smash, but it gets it. Random up smash. Move on. It gets it. Both of uh, the red team are at high percent, so this is still relatively even. It's 4-2, to two, but it could be 2-2 two to two in a moment's notice. Sonic making it back down safely. And gets an, a forward smash. Mario just trying to stick around on this right side, not trying to go anywhere. Looking for that stock on dirt. He is fishing for that stock, and it's getting him a lot of percent. He doesn't... He's He went for a back air unsafely. And Varn got a little bit of heal off that as well. The forward smash on Sonic puts it a 2v1 situation for Freezy Thundeezy versus 4 Eyed. This is doable because Pikachu is at extremely high percent, so if Nate can take out Dirk, if he can just get a Mario up smash, because we know how much we all love seeing Mario up smashes, it could be a doable game. We got Dirk just hanging back, trying to keep his stock alive. And can they get it? Whoa, that was a wonderful conversion. That was really good. 2-1. I guess that it gets best of two. I mean, best of three. Wow. Good stuff for Freezy Thundeezy. They, they move on in the bracket. And uh, Full Raiden is out. Back throw to, to PK Fire. <laughs>